Great Pyrenees. The Great Pyrenees, also known as the Pyrenean Mountain Dog, is a breed of large dogs developed mainly as a guardian of livestock. Though these dogs have been used for hundreds of years around the Pyrenees Mountains between France and Spain, like many farm varieties, they were bred mainly for their working ability and were standardized fairly recently. Their ancestors are believed to be from Tibet, brought to Spain via Central Asia by waves of tribes moving in this direction. The earliest recorded mention of the breed from the 15th century talks about its characteristic white color, its formidable size, and utility as a guard dog for sheep. The breed became especially popular in medieval France and was commonly used to guard chateaus and fortresses. Despite eventual drop in popularity among the nobility, enough healthy specimens were available in the countryside in the late 1800s for fanciers to standardize the breed. Import to the U.S. took some time, and it was only after the 1930s that the breed gained popularity in the country. And for some rough trivia. The Great Pyrenees is believed to have played a role in the development in which one of these breeds? A. Borzoi B. Commodore Or C. Newfoundland What do you think? Give it your best guess in the comments below before we get to the answer. Hang on tight and we'll get back to this rough trivia question toward the end of the video. The adult male Great Pyrenees has a height in the range of 27 to 32 inches and weighs around 115 pounds. The female is slightly shorter with height between 25 and 29 inches and weight between 85 and 90 pounds. This elegant dog has a characteristic white or principally white double-layered coat that may contain markings of badger, gray, or shadings of tan. The outer coat is coarse, straight, or slightly undulating. The undercoat is dense, fine, and woolly. The profuse hair around the neck and shoulders forms a mane. Longer hair on the tail forms a plume. Eyes are medium-sized, almond-shaped, set slightly obliquely. Ears are small to medium-shaped, V-shaped with rounded tips carried close to the head. Grooming. The coat of the Great Pyrenees needs brushing twice weekly and daily when shedding. The occasional bath helps maintain the whiteness of the coat. Some of these dogs tend to drool, needing the occasional wipe. Brushing of teeth, cleaning of ears, and clipping of nails has to be regular. Temperament The Great Pyrenees is a mild-mannered, devoted, and somewhat serious dog. It is protective of its family and gentle with the people it is familiar with, especially children. Wary of strangers, it makes a great guard dog. A well-brought-up dog will never be unnecessarily aggressive, and its imposing size is enough to scare away any intruder. This is a nocturnal breed, and unless trained right from a very young age, can bark at night. Training These dogs are known to be slow to learn new commands and are somewhat stubborn to train. This requires patience from the owner or trainer. Apart from a slightly domineering personality, the size of these dogs also necessitates early obedience training to prevent problems in adulthood. The breed's exercise needs are not excessive and can be met with a moderate walk-on leash. Some dogs can be lazy in warm weather. Health The average lifespan for the Great Pyrenees is between 10 to 12 years. A generally hardy breed, some typical canine health issues that do occur include genital heart disorder, patellar luxation, entropion, OCD, gastric torsion, osteosarcoma, and some skin problems. The majestic Great Pyrenees is a calm and easygoing guardian that can quickly jump to action if needed. One of the easier dogs to care for among the larger breeds, its owner still requires patience and experience for a healthy companionship. Find out if the Great Pyrenees would be a good addition to your home. The answer to a rough trivia question. It is widely believed that the Newfoundland was developed in Canada by crossing of local dogs with the Great Pyrenees, brought by Basque settlers in the 1600s. That does it for the Great Pyrenees. If you enjoyed this Dog Facts 101 video, be sure to subscribe and paw that thumbs up button. Then go ahead and check out some of our other videos or fun activities on our website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.